What's going on, guys? The Inhuman Pete down, and I'm back with more kind of arcade goodness. I'm sort of flexing it at this point, but mostly because this is something I've been trying to get done since, like, the time I did the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. Um, yeah, I've just had a bunch of failures. Um, I didn't think I was good enough with the commentary. Since then, my standards have lowered. <laughs> Not really lowered, but. Anyways, I've gotten a little bit better at doing commentary or just making shit up on the fly and not feeling so guilty about it. But this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game for the NES. The second Turtles game I spent too much time on. The first being the LJN, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that I've already done. This one is a port of the arcade game, as its name implies. And yeah... It also adds a couple levels that are not found in the arcade version, and as such, we're going to go into it. So, let's get things started. Now, unlike with most arcade games, I won't be able to switch around who I play as, so I'm pretty much stuck as them until the end of the game, so... Fuck it. Leonardo leads. <laughs> Hang on, April! I don't know who's talking, but alright. Fuck Mikey, nobody gives a shit about him. Scene one, fire, we gotta get April out. Alright, we gotta get April out, but I guess fuck everyone else. Am I right? Alright, so, whoop, there we go. Alrighty, we're off to a good start. So, there is like this, I don't really know how to describe it, it's just like, you can do like a super slash, there we go. That can, uh, like, take care of the foot guys in, like, a single swing. But I'm just really bad at executing it. Because it's like, otherwise they take two hits to finish. There we go. It, it's like, tap both buttons together. But it's like, I guess you have to, like, hit the jump button a little bit before the attack button. I don't really know. It's like, even just saying it sounds weird. But it's like, it'd be the best... See, because I killed both those guys with a single swing. It's the best way to deal with them. I'm just not good at doing it. Which, unfortunately, is... It's not really going to cost me, per se. But it's like, it's going to make things move slower. Because, unfortunately, the foot also get kind of, uh... Ow. Like, invincibility frames. Ow. Oh, come on. Good thing I have infinite lives. Uh, but they kind of get so pseudo-invincibility frames. There we go. Um, after you attack them. So you can't just, like, mash away and finish them. It's actually kind of bad in that regard. Also, Pizza Hut. Because this had cross-promotion with Pizza Hut. And, in fact, I think came with a coupon on the box or something. All I know is there's a lot of advertisement for Pizza Hut in here, which I think have been removed from any of the, like, HD ver- I say HD version, but I mean re-releases. <laughs> it always weirds me out when everyone's like, oh, it's the HD version. Um, it's still using, like, bit graphics and shit like that. There is nothing HD about this except its resolution. So it's like you can buy old Neo Geo games for like PS4 and shit like that. And it's just, you know, this looks good. And this looked good when it was on the Neo Geo. Because the Neo Geo is pretty good like that. But it's like, I mean, you're basically making me pay for an old ass game. That the only difference now is it may not even be in like 16 by 9 resolution. It's just, hey, it got, we maybe put a border around it. I don't know. Ow. Also, it really annoys me that the foot don't get hurt by the obstacles in the area. Come on. Ow. There. So it's like, all oh, these bowling balls, wherever the hell they're coming from, it's just like, yup, uh, foot can walk right past that. I guess you could argue it's there, so they know how to not get hurt? But that sounds flimsy as fuck. Just like that hitbox right there. I shouldn't have killed him, but I did. 
Also, I can't wait until we're out of this fire level so all of the sprites can quit flickering because that would be not... Well, they're not really flickering. They're just... I'm going to have to look to see how this looks on recording because even looking at the game right now, like, it looks like they're missing entire chunks from their body. Oh, yeah, these guys. The ones that little... That do their little... Hey! I don't know! I don't know what fucking voice that was supposed to be, but they're like little dive stabs that they do. What? Foolish Foot Clan! Don't you know? You don't go into an elevator when it's on fire! Well, granted, you guys are also robots? I think was the cartoon's logic. Was that the foot were like robots or some shit? So I don't know, maybe they just don't feel it. And even then, I guess that would kind of melt their circuitry or stuff like that. Also these things. I always remember being a kid and just letting them lasso me because then like the turtles would get electrocuted and it was like, ah, you can see their skeletons. That's funny, I'm a kid. Which I guess I technically was at that time, so, you know. These things I also hate. It's like, ha <laughs> that's funny. All right. These things I also hate fighting because they take way too many hits if you can't like do the, the special slash as I will refer to it. Oh no, April, she's in trouble. She's standing in her apartment or wherever the hell this is instead of getting out like a rational human being. April, you dumb bitch. Also, Rocksteady. With a gun. Oh, I'm going to... No, wait. Is that... I don't remember how, how Rocksteady sounds. I only remember how Bebop sounds. Or are you Bebop and the other one... No, you're Rocksteady. I was like, wait, turtle lore getting confused. I don't remember who's who. I know Bebop and Rocksteady, but by God, do I not remember which one was which. I know Toka and Razar better than I know you two, which may be a sad statement to make. Ah. Ah. Ah, shit. Damn. I like how he's flashing so fast now, fast now even on emulation. He, he's not showing up too well. There we go. Kicked his ass. Oh no, the Shredder! In his blue glory. Oh no, there we go. Now he's magenta. Come on, after that Shredder creep. Ah, uh, you'll never defeat me, turtles. I'm voiced by Uncle Phil. All right, so already we're on to stage two, which is already a good sign. I don't remember my far... Th I don't remember how far I made it in any of my, like, failed recordings. I say failed at this point just because they were. I scrapped them and didn't finish them. But granted, that's also because it's like... I can't exactly save state even though I'm using emulation because the emulator I use doesn't support save states. But it's like, it's an NES game. I mean, they take, like, an hour... Maybe two hours to finish. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can do that. I still... Okay. That doesn't make sense, but okay. And I gotta say... I mean, it's kind of obvious, but it's like... Man, the muted colors for the NES version is just like... Man. It's like, this is kind of what I was... I guess... Uh, kind... Mm, uh, I'm trying to struggle with my words here, because I don't... I don't want it to come off like I don't, like I hate the R Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, but it's like, after you've actually played the arcade game, it's like, it's kind of hard to go back to. Kind of like, you ever played, like, okay, I guess a good comparison would be, you ever just played, like, a PS1 game? Like, an early PS1 game with early 3D graphics? And then, ooh, pizza. And then gone to, like, a PS4 game immediately. 
it's kind of like that. Though not as drastic, but in similar fashion. It's like, you know, I've played the original arcade game. And it's like, it looks so much better because it's an arcade game. It has better hardware than the NES. But it's just like, uh, you know? I don't know. Oh yeah, these ones that throw boomerangs for whatever conceived notion. But yeah. Like, I don't hate this. This is still fun. A dozen times better than playing the LJN piece of shit. I mean, that one's fun in its own right. If you get past the, like, insanity and brutal difficulty. Mm, Pizza Hut. Mm. This, uh, <laughs> this subliminal messaging is making me hungry. I'm feeling like pizza. Oh no, it's working! But, um... I digress. What I was trying to say was, uh... But yeah, it's like, having played the original and seen all the colors, the sounds... Like, the sounds aren't bad here. I, I'm a sucker for, like, 18... 18 bit? Uh, pretty sure that's a thing, but not what I meant to say. For, like, 8 bit, 16 bit, uh, songs and shit. And this isn't bad by any... Ex by any... By any stress of the imagination, but it's like, you know, I've played the original and it's like, this is... This is not the original. It's like when I played Captain America and the Avengers for SNES versus playing it for Arcade. There was a clear, clear contrast between, like, original and port. Also, speaking of original and port, uh, Rocksteady, who's looking a little bit pinker than he probably should. Or Bebop. I said Rocksteady. We fought him already. Although, they ironically have very similar moveset. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Uh, they both rush. They punch you. And he has a gun. It does things. It does gun things. Ow. She's proving to be kind of a royal jackass right now. I actually don't... Oh! <laughs> Who put out the lights? Oh my god, I was like, did I get him in a loop? Hold on, no. Let's go back. I want to see how much I can loop you. This amuses me. Come here. No. Oh. I'm trying to see if I can cut him, but also walk away at the same time to avoid his attacks. It was working somewhat. Whee! All right, sewers. I think the turtles would be at home here, but no, even in here, the sewers suck. Oh, hey, I got full health. Nice. I didn't even notice that. That's nice. I guess that kind of been, would have been kind of a really bitch move to go. Oh, hey, you just, like, spent all of your uh, HP fighting uh, Bebop? All right, cool. Now come down here, and we're going to fuck your life up. Stop. It's hammer time. Ow. See, it amuses me that, like, the special attack will sometimes go over their head, and then they'll take it just like that. Take a second and go, oh, I got hit. Oh! I think I'm getting better at this. Oh, God, the mousers. Ah! Unfortunately, the mousers are dumb as shit. There we go. Oh. Alright. Ah! Let, let go! Let go! Come on. Come here. There we go. Fucking like abomination onto God. Alright, maybe I'm not getting as good with the uh, sword as I thought. Or maybe I'm just really bad under pressure. Do, 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 do. I don't know. Either way. Progressing a lot smoother than I think it would, uh, would otherwise. I think I was like, I don't know. 
Although I'd probably be progressing a lot smoother if I had a second player. But that's the problem of being alone and having no friends in your area. Because unfortunately, internet friends can't help you play console games. Unless they're online. And support online. Unfortunately, the NES does not support online. Woe is the world that we live in. Oh, this... Oh, right. This is when they start adding in the gate. That makes no sense, because... Ah! I forgot. For some reason, there are rockets in the water. I don't know why. But they are there. And they are square. Deal with it. I don't... I don't know what that was supposed to mean. WHY CAN'T I HIT YOU?! WHERE IS YOUR HITBOX?! I'm beginning to notice some other problems. Uh, maybe it's not as great as I thought it was. Uh, maybe nostalgia, nostalgia isn't blinding me too tightly this time. Granted, that's also because I was never exactly a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan. Also, Baxter is looking, you know, for the longest time, I didn't know this was supposed to be Baxter Stockman. Like, that's who this is supposed to be if you've played the arcade game. Uh, this is supposed to be Baxter Stockman. The person who created the Mausers and would become, like, you know, the fly thing later. Um, but I always thought he was a robot. Because if you, hang on a second, let's freeze frame there. Because if you take a look at his sprite in there, he doesn't look human. He looks very, like, android robot-ish. It's very weird. But yeah, that was that was just a thing. I also hate fighting him because he likes to move all around like this. And as we have gone over, I was not very good at the the uh, like super attack to deal more damage to him. So this fight would often take forever when I would fight him. But thankfully, it didn't do so bad this time. And we've murdered him. Tonight, I dine on turtle soup. Also, Baxter suddenly appeared with Shredder. Let's melt snow and rebuild New York City. Alright, so now we enter into one of the levels that is exclusive to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The snow level. Because apparently, some kind of mercenary, I think he's a mercenary. I'll flash his name on screen and his backstory. Or I'll flash his backstory here. If I get it wrong. Uh, but basically, he's here, and he used a machine to ice New York. While Shredder was doing stuff, I guess. I don't know. Also different from the arcade, mach arcade game is, uh... During that scene where he says, Tonight I dine on turtle soup. Oh, right. Uh... Instead of Baxter, it was supposed to be, uh... Bebop and Rocksteady. That's another changed thing. Uh, we'll get to that eventually, because we'll, uh, we'll actually throw down with, uh, throw down with, uh, Baxter later. Oh, yeah, that's right. The snowmen are actually, like, robots who I hate fighting because they take more hits than they sh fucking should. Oh, my God, die! Thank you, Jesus. I don't really know how to feel about the snow level. It's got some nice color. I... Well, kind of it has some nice color. The problem is it's the same color. Blues and white. Like, very bluish white colors. And I get it. It's snow color. But it's... Uh, it's just... Uh, I, don't, I don't really know how to feel about that. At least... 
I mean, it would look nice, but it needs something else in here. It needs drop pieces or something to make everything look better. Like, right now, the foot stand out so much because they're the brightest fucking thing here. Or, fuck, the turtles in general. Oh. Fucking cars. But yeah, like, these foot, though, they're just like... I mean, they start to literally blend in with the water up there. They're just like, yeah, we look the same. We know. I also think this will probably be longer than the arcade game. Maybe. But granted, the arcade game's purpose was to uh, take your money. If you're playing this, chances are the, uh, the stores already have your money. Because that's the entire point. There we go. We're getting closer to the end, I can't tell. Everything looks the goddamn same. Ugh. More foot. It's like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, there's not enough... At least with the, uh, the cityscape. Not so much the sewer level. Um, we actually got some changing, like, dynamics and changing areas. Like, we went around buildings. We went... Up on certain parts of the building, there were at least different drop pieces in area. Alright, here we go. We're at the end. Alright, this guy. Who is a polar bear. I believe he's a polar bear. Because of course he would be. He punches you. Or slaps you, I guess. But yeah. I don't remember his name. I'll be flashing it up on screen in a second. But yeah, he's, he's just a boss exclusive to this version. He occupies this level, obviously. I guess that kind of goes without saying. Uh, he's okay, but... Limited hardware proves that he doesn't get to be anything great. He, th he, he smacks you and throws ice balls. He's really not anything impressive. Ow. Mostly getting tired of him backhanding me. Oh my god, how much health does he have? I feel like I beat Baxter in the last time. Well, granted, Baxter's also only means of attack was literally dropping Mousers on me, so I guess that's not really anything to go by. So I don't know why, but I feel like his hitbox is off. There we go. Machine is broken and New York City is returned to normal. Yay! Spring is here.